Yo, 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 it is that time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I don't mean to sound like D-Generation X, but we are here as a unit, and we're not just alone with just me, myself, Tech, and Isaac. We have a very, very special guest, okay? Our guests are just shooting through the roof with with th their resumes alone, okay? They, they are like... I, I am lost for words, as you can tell, because that is how excited I am. A a, a voice I've been hearing for many, many years. I've been saying Hadouken and Shoryuken just like him. Back when he made the debut in Street Fighter 4 2009, I'll never forget. When I was the only one in my town, because everyone was whack back in the day and they played shooting games. I played some Halo 2, but that's besides the point. Let me go ahead and now bring in the whole gang. Because everyone, we are here, we are now. Let me go and unmute all of these things. Okay, and let's see. And boom, welcome, Mr. Kyle Hebe. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. How are you guys? As you can tell, I'm very colorful. That's how I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling great, man. I'm excited. <laughs> all right. I like it. The energy. It's the weekend too. So on top of that, yeah. Yep. So there's uh so there's some questions that of course that we will definitely go and run through. Um but 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 first I gotta I gotta ask you, first things first, how how did, how does it feel to be voicing one of the most iconic characters in video game history? Because Listen, you don't you don't have to be Mario to be the most iconic in my in our eyes, okay? Because Ryu represents fighting games, okay? Yeah. And, and you are now here on the grid, you know, for the, well, t you know, we, we we can't throw Legacy Wars out the way, but that's okay. You're here on on the game where everyone really considers like this is where it matters, okay? You we got the voice <laughs> back and everything to make it solidified. How did how does that feel like the the reception? I'm sure like people were probably blowing you up like oh my god like he's back and yeah. <laughs> I got, uh, got, got a lot of replies on uh, on Twitter. It's like oh wow, well, so they announced it. Hey, and when I was first approached, I was like oh my god, I can't believe this. This is like uh, wow, it's morphin time. Like wow, I got I get to say that what? <laughs> but yeah, like becoming something as iconic as Ryu and Street Fighter and, and all that, that's, I still pinch myself. It feels like back in 2008 is when we actually recorded it. I sat on it for a year before uh, it came out and the trailers and it's like, that kind of sounds like you, Kyle. Like, hmm, uh, strange. <laughs> uh, and sure enough, I'm wearing the, the non-disclosure. I don't, don't ask me. I signed an NDA, non-disclosure agreement. So, and uh, I've, I, that's just the life of a voice actor, you know, until something comes out, you know, I can't confirm or deny unless I got specific, uh, you know, thumbs up from the companies. And, uh, but yeah, it's been a been a wild ride. I didn't drop a, a whole lot of tokens back in the day or quarters on, on Street Fighter because I was bad at it. I'm a button masher. I'm still a button masher. <laughs> That's okay. But, but uh, I know how big Street Fighter is and uh, I am so thankful that uh, that my career has, has led me down this path and, you know, vicariously and also just getting to be a part of Disney with Wreck-It Ralph and yeah, all, all the gaming icons in that, you know, it's like, dude, this is, this is unreal. Yeah. It, 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 it I don't know if it, well, for me, it's, it, it's unreal to just be having this conversation with you guys, with, 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 with the guys and you right now. So <laughs> Thank, thank you again. I cannot thank you enough, guys. I thanked this man like a million times before we even started, but can cannot express the gratitude. As a matter of fact, really quick, I just want to also shout out the three gifted subs that I just got because this particular person literally betted against me saying that you weren't <laughs> going to be in this game. So really quick, just to get just to air that out, okay? So I'll, let me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know this, Kyle, directly, okay? When the anniversary video came out mm -hmm. and you had the pop figure in the corner, right? It, like you're a genius. You are a genius, right? And when you, and, and, and you said, you, you gave out so many specific clues. All I did was I did my part as a community leader and I just deciphered the code. So again, thank you 
for letting us know without letting us know that the answer lies in the heart of battle for the grid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they said, we want to get a little video promo, but don't be too in your face about it. You know, just subtle. subtle subtlety is good. It's like, all right, I got an idea. I got an idea. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely send you send you the video so that you can you can see my my skit reaction for the uh, for 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 that particular thing because when they had Dan Southworth I was like wait a minute like what is he alluding to so I that's when I started getting a little crazy but then when mm -hmm. when you came in I was like okay no 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 this makes way too much sense like Ryu is a hundred percent gonna be in there. So I'm glad we didn't that have the here. computer. Remember, we got the. I told you, look, yeah. check the computer screen. Check the time. <laughs> check the date that this was recorded. Yeah, <laughs> to see. Yeah, we turned the conspiracy theorists on that video. <laughs> yeah, we definitely, we we definitely did on that stream. Yep, we definitely did. But so let so let's so let's get into the into the, some of these questions that I have for you. So, um, one thing that I definitely want to know, I'm sure everyone here wants to know. Um, what inspired you to become a voice actor and to continue with it to this very day? I think just being a, a lover of all things pop culture. You know, every, every kid loves cartoons and, and all that stuff, and I certainly was no exception. You know, I grew up with classic, you know, I'm 51. I'll be 52 this year, so it's like, I go way back with classic Looney Tunes and Mel Blanc voicing all those characters, and that kind of planted the seed when I was very young. And uh, that and, you know, being a pretend radio DJ, you know, I take a tape player and records on my turntable and pretend and do fake commercials and do all sorts of stuff and uh, ended up getting a broadcast degree, worked in radio for like 13 years. And halfway through radio, I happened to hear about auditions at Funimation and it's like, oh, Dragon Ball Z, I love that. I was already a fan of that show. You know, I'd only seen some episodes here and there of the first two sagas, which were from the Canadian English dub mm -hmm. and Cartoon Network picked it up and then Funimation picked up and, and moved to Texas. And it's like, I was in Dallas, they're in Dallas. I'm hearing about things. It's like, oh my God. I even saw a, a cover story showing a picture of Chris Sabat and like, ah, you know, doing all this. It's like, Funimation's here? What? <laughs> and I went in in August of 2000, tried out for um, teenage slash adult Gohan and some other roles. And two weeks later, they hired me to do some small things because they really liked the audition for Gohan. But it's like, he's a new guy. Do we really want to trust such a big, important role to someone who hasn't done the lip flap thing before and matching lip sync and all that? And that's that's important because that's a very technical sort of skill. It's not just voice acting. It's not just doing a voice, but you're trying to make everything sync up and I guess I did well enough because <laughs> they gave me the part and and my life literally changed and we are we couldn't be we couldn't be happier because man oh like a lot of people like to knock on English dubs but everyone forgets that at the end of the day that is what the majority of anime fans grew up with especially if you're within our age range because we're all in our 20s right now so we definitely Heard you on TV, heard you on the, the DVD box sets and all that. So definitely a huge thanks. And everyone loves Gohan. I know we're here for Power Rangers, but we can't we can't not acknowledge how you're literally Gohan and the announcer. Or the narrator, excuse me. The the narrator yeah. for Dragon Ball Z. I'm really the most powerful character in the Dragon Ball universe because I can <laughs> stop and start battles. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Previously on Dragon Ball Z, you know. Yes. So yeah, that's uh I was gonna that, ask you to do that. That literally, <laughs> that literally changed everything. You know, fight you. No, I want to kill you. Taking these iconic lines from iconic characters and meeting fans around the world, going to conventions, and and now with uh, all the technology stuff with streaming, and you know the pandemic is has been mostly negative, but a positive thing is the voiceover industry is still thriving. I'm still able to dub anime and and live action shows for Netflix and video games and. You know, even I did uh, this this uh, this Power Rangers thing uh, with Ryu. I did this from home too. So oh, hey, wow. that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, funny funny you bring that up because I was actually gonna ask you like, what what was actually the like audition process behind Ryu and like you know like kind of similar to like your your Funimation situation. Like you you were it was like kind of like right place right time kind of thing. So like how how did how did you how did you manage to get Ryu? Like you, you are Ryu. That is amazing. Just, that's just to say. 
That goes through um, just uh, creating, you know, networking, creating uh, industry contacts. Uh, the great Steve Bloom uh, helped open doors to, to multiple studios for me and walked my demo in to his agent, who's been my agent since I moved to L.A. And um, knowing he was Spike and Cowboy Bebop and an icon, and it's like, oh, my God, this, this guy's incredible. And he opened doors. And then I had met other people on the on the convention circuit. Uh, new generation pictures who i've done some anime stuff with and and some game stuff so i was on the audition list and new generation uh picked up the rights to dub street fighter 4 and so i was called in as well as anyone else on the list who had worked with the studio previously and i go and sign an nda just to do the audition which is unusual normally wow. you just sign when you record but uh this was super super hush hush and once I got to the studio, back then we'd go to the studio and see people. Remember those days? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'd drive in traffic. Remember what traffic is? That's not good. But uh, yeah. So I went in and tried out. I remember seeing the uh, the notebook with the audition scripts in it, and it's like it's like here here you go. Just pick out you know whoever you want to read for. You know five or six max. And it's like okay. Well, I definitely want to read for Ryu. <laughs> I read for uh, Ken and uh, M. Bison and E. Honda and El Fuerte. He looks fun. Why not? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I tried out for all those and immediately put it out of my mind. Because if you sit there and, and woulda, coulda, shoulda, and just think you'll go crazy. Because chances are you're not going to get the role. It's just that com competitive, right? Right, right. So I didn't hear anything for months until I was at a convention in Minnesota. And the director of the game, Talison Jaffe, who was also voicing Blanca, he came up to me and said, congrats, you got the man. And I go, what are you talking about? It's like, oh, you didn't know? I'm like, yeah, you got you. I'm like, what? And it's like, uh, let me guess. I can't say a thing. It's like, you can't say a thing. Wow. Ah. So I went in, blew my voice out over the course of maybe three or four sessions. You know, you record all the, the conversation stuff first, and then all the shouty, screamy, you know. Makes sense. All of that, and uh, yeah, I had to. I sounded like I gargled razor blades for a long time. <laughs> wow, that you know, I'm glad. I'm glad you're bringing all these things up, and I, I definitely thank you for for sharing all of these stories um, that you have behind with all this voice acting and experience. Because I'm now kind of curious, like, what is? I, I feel like I know the answer because of all the other like things that I've heard around the interwebs and whatnot, and other interviews and whatever, but. What would what what seems to be more challenging, Ryu or Dragon Ball Z screens? Because you boys vote Gohan, <laughs> all right. So, you gotta. I have to ask you directly now. I have that that uh, opportunity. Well, I'm thinking that Street Fighter stuff, anything with Ryu, where I have to scream for like more than two hours, that's probably the max the voice can really take. Even though you're you're kind of cheating with lots of hot tea and honey and uh, this stuff we lovingly call Hulk juice. It's really just Chinese cough syrup. And uh, <laughs> a couple of teaspoonfuls of that and uh, hope for the best. Hopefully you still have a voice intact at the end of the session and all that. But I like to tell people that Dragon Ball Z is boot camp for today's video game sessions. Whether it's an RPG, a shooter, a fighter, they all require screaming. Right. And lots and lots of screaming. So it's like, how's your voice? It's like, dude, I was on Dragon Ball. I got this. I got this. <laughs> You're a pro. Cool. You're a pro of pros. I nearly fainted. In fact, there's others in the cast who did faint. And I, you know, when you're doing those power up yells and just like, ah, you know, <laughs> it's just like you're checking your watch. It's like, th that's not enough still? Like, uh -uh. No, no, no. This guy yells for like 40 seconds straight. So we're just going to take two separate takes of you, take a deep breath in between, and we're just gonna fuse them in Pro Tools and just make it like, put some reverb on it and, you know, use a little studio trickery, but basically, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna scream until you can't scream anymore. Wow. Like, oh, okay. I'm good with that. I mean, it's Dragon Ball. I got to. Yeah. That, and that, that show, that franchise has opened up so many doors. It's amazing. Yeah, that, uh, that is, that is amazing. But yeah, like, that's kind of what I figured because, you know, since you're 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 i can definitely say you're a veteran in the game like you you've been around for plenty of years you've voiced so many different characters from just not just anime but from video games alone so i feel like after gohan you're just like yeah like you said i i did dragon ball i'm good to go like you know oh i can handle i can handle ryu you know like what's the worst you got the shinku Hadouken? like that's probably oh my god 
yeah, Kage, Dark Re Evil Ryu. It's like, <laughs> oh, they're, you know, like, wow, you thought Ryu getting mad was, was tough on the voice. Ooh. Man, yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. So, obviously, obviously we're talking uh, voice acting here. So, um, who do you enjoy revisiting or playing the most out of your laundry list of characters that you got over there? Well, I definitely love coming back to Ryu. Uh, I had no idea that he was going to make it an appearance. Uh, this is the the this week or this with the announcement of that. It's like, oh, he was in Legacy Wars. Like, what's Legacy Wars? What's this? what? You know, I couldn't believe that this was happening. Much less when they approached me and said, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna bring back your character, but it's not a Street Fighter game." Like, what? This is this is just crazy. So, yeah. I don't know. Now I got lost in thought. What was the question? <laughs> oh, no, that's totally kind of, I was asking, um, like, what characters you enjoy the most, like, I guess, reprising? Yeah. Oh, well, anytime I, you know, Gohan comes back and, you know, whether we have a new show to do or not, we have always had a new game every year. Right. You know, recently we had Kakarot, we had Fighter Z and mm -hmm. Xenoverse 2. They're still pumping out DLC for. So coming back is Great Saiyan Man or Gohan, Ultimate Gohan all that stuff uh it's great to revisit that uh there's others that i wish i could revisit but they're no longer alive things like you know kamina and gurren lagan yeah. like ah, yeah, that's what i was gonna say yep the goat. No. <laughs> yeah and, and you won an award for that in 2009. yeah yeah spja who who uh basically put on anime expo in los angeles uh they have an, an award ceremony for best dub and i got the best male voice actor that year it's like what i was up against sam jackson in afro samurai wow that's Oof. like oh my god how does that happen <laughs> etched in stone you are your legacy just continues to just get bigger and bigger and better and better but and yeah and and kamina is definitely one of the favorite characters i'm sure a lot of people have watching Gurren Lagan, of course manliest man in manime yeah <laughs> i just want to say i just want to say Girl of God is my favorite anime ever, so definitely <laughs> you already have no status for me for that for that role. Who the hell do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh man, this is great. All right, so, whew, all right, so now going back to right, going going back to Power Rangers Battle for the Grid really quick, um, because I it's so easy to just talk about you know everything else because you've done so much and that and that's awesome. We we definitely thank you for that, um. But just for the, those in the chat that weren't aware, okay, not only are you Ryu, but you're also Magnet Offender, and you're also the Shadow Ranger Anubis Kruger. So what was it like entering the grid and getting these roles with Enway? How was that like? That was, uh, God, that was several years ago, and I vaguely remember the recording session, like first world problem. I record so much that I can't remember it all. But I do remember <laughs> recording that because it's like, you know, we can't get the cast to do this, so we're, we're bringing in voice actors to kind of voice match what they're doing. And it's like, all right, all right, cool. So I remember getting the audition, and they had little MP3 reference files. It's like, we need you to sound like this character or this character. And that's who I ended up getting. And uh, I thought, golly, it didn't take very long to record at all. I thought it was cool. It's like, man, I've been, been so blessed to work in so many huge franchises. It's like Power Rangers is one I never thought. I would get to be a part of it's like i i mean johnny young bosch is the crossover guy there you know the black T power ranger and then ichigo and bleach and you know his own amazing career in voiceover yeah and uh yeah with the with the battle for the grid man uh, things opened up and then two years later it's like okay we're gonna do the anniversary and we're gonna bring ryu and like why this are you sure? This is, <laughs> this is undo. And I, I hadn't played the game. You know, uh, it's not, it's not typical for voice actors to get free copies of the game. You know, they pay us, of course, to record, and that's awesome. But you know, for for those of us in the industry who happen to be gamers too, and not everyone is, but I am. I'm a button masher type, but hey, I, I love me some Street Fighter. It's like, give me a game, I'll button mash until a combo works and then I'll spam it. I don't care. I just, you know. <laughs> so I got to work on, hey, Inway, Inway, Battle for the Grid. Yeah. You would love a copy. Please. Just <laughs> I, I got to get this man a copy. <laughs> I, I, we, we are speechless for you, yeah. but 
Go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna post your link in my in my chat right now. Go ahead and plug your your Twitch um, to the to the people that are listening right now. Awesome. Well, I, my Twitch channel is called Gohan with your own bad self. It is all <laughs> oh, one word. Oh, that's godly. Wow. <laughs> that is great. So, so give that a follow real quick. So you yeah. so you, you you said you uh you love your button mashing. So what do you normally play on your stream? I normally play a lot of Call of Duty. Here lately, I've been playing Monster Hunter Rise, and I'll, I'll play with subs. People who sub are eligible to come on my, my Discord and unlock a, a, an audio chat, and then we have the audio chat broadcasting on the, on the Twitch channel <laughs> while we're playing co-op or versus and whatnot. And it's just a way to involve the community and, and all that stuff. Uh, I've done a little everything from Among Us to Phasmophobia to, golly, My Hero to fighter z uh a little bit of everything it's like some people even donate games to me it's like we want to see you play danganronpa i had a couple of characters in that franchise it's like i'm not really into rpgs myself but it's like but we want to see you play it like okay so <laughs> so i got the first one and what i've been doing is i've been playing it but i've been reading all the cutscenes aloud i leave the subtitles on and i'll sit there and do them in various wacky cartoon voices so ha, <laughs> oh, that's great Trying to make it entertaining. We go back and forth with that. We played a little Uno. We played uh, this new game called What the Dub. It's basically like a Jackbox game mm. where you they have these clips where, you know, these old movies that no one's ever heard of. They're public domain. So there's clips of one character saying something, another character saying something, and it goes back, and then you have to respond, and you get to make up the dialogue. And then it uses AI, and it speaks whatever you type as the response and then everyone just votes for whatever the funniest or wackiest clip is so that's a fun one to do that's free it's a cross-platform what about uh, fortnite yeah. reuse in it do you play fortnite at all <laughs> no no i probably would if reuse spoke but uh, wow. i didn't know that i don't play fortnite that's crazy i didn't know that <laughs> i've tried i've tried uh just not my thing but i mean i love warzone I'm down with that. That's just that's just Fortnite with a Call of Duty skin on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know, Kyle, please. Yeah, right. And you know, I've I've played Apex Legends, and it's like this is just Fortnite. I'm like, eh, you know, it's got a different feel, but it's basically the same. And, yeah, it's the battle royales, you know. Yeah, the battle royales, and God bless them. They're fun. And now, now you got uh, League of Legends just came back in uh, a mobile game wild rift and i'm back in that too so i'm back as graves dead man walking <laughs> well you know we with you sharing all of these these bits and pieces of all like you play a lot you're like a variety streamer pretty much yeah. we're gonna have to get you on battle for the grid because <laughs> it is it is like a sin for 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 anyway to not even have sent you the freaking game you voice in <laughs> Like, like, right now, like, I, and like, honestly, like, and the fact that you said you play with your subs, I feel like some of us might be more inclined to then go and sub and then show you the ropes with your characters, especially when Ryu comes in, like your team is probably going to be a pretty, pretty good team. I can already see it happening now. I am super, super psyched about it. I, I, like I said, I can't wait. Just like. You guys have been following it since the very beginning, so I can't imagine how psyched you guys are. <laughs> you know, so I'm ready. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like like I already said, I I have been psyched since I I put all the pieces together that you laid on the floor for us. I was like, hey guys, like not only am I Shadow Ranger, but you might see me back again once again as someone you might recognize. So. Thank you, as always. Can't I cannot thank you enough. I I am very looking forward to watching your streams now because like you I can't it. believe I literally had no idea that you streamed. So that's that's <laughs> uh, that's our bad. We're that we're you're gonna see us a lot more for sure. Oh that's well, 100%. thank you. Yeah, it's a strange thing because I'll 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 promote my Twitch streams on Twitter and everything, but I've learned through other people that do that. It's like it doesn't seem to make it doesn't really make a dent. So if you post your schedule, what you're going to play, and all that, it doesn't seem to matter. It's like, well, then how do you build your community? <laughs> yeah. How do you get your channels to to you know flourish and everything? It's like, I don't know. Just keep doing it. Do it consistently. <laughs> keep doing it. Be interactive with the fans, which I always have been ever since I became a voice actor in 2020. Join message boards, talk to fans, MySpace, oh, really? then Facebook, and then Instagram, and then Twitter, and 
I, I stay, I stay very focused. I love what I do. I love sharing with enthusiasm to the people who are interested in the process, plus the projects that I've been very blessed to do. So, and this is just now taking things to the next level with, with Twitch or, or people doing the YouTube gaming or Facebook gaming or whatnot. It, it's just a good thing to do since we're all stuck in our homes right now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and if you, and if you want this, obviously an open invitation, but if, if I, and we, we can tell that you're all about the community because if you weren't, you wouldn't even be here right now. So if you'd like, I can definitely pass you the discord link and you yeah. could blow people's minds in there. Just pop in, say what's up, <laughs> see what's going on. And uh, yeah, it, it's it, like I said, really nice community. A lot of a lot of Power Ranger fans, a lot of new fans to the to the game overall that just come from you know different fighting games and whatnot. It's a it's a nice blend. Um, so so to have your to, to have your kind of presence in there, that would definitely make a lot of people happy. Number one, and then just way more excited to get their hands on your because. I'm not gonna lie. Just watching that trailer, I don't know, a million times over, uh, <laughs> your character seems kind of busted in a good way. Like this is the best version of Ryu, possibly. I'm just gonna say that now. Could be, yeah, just ever. Could it be. definitely is. He's a Power Ranger. It doesn't get any better. Than yes. That. <laughs> but let's be real here. Yeah. Ryu was already fast before, but now they gave him boots. He is that much faster now. <laughs> And the helmet. Come on, let's yes. face it. Exactly. You gotta have the Sentai helmet, you know. It's just <laughs> all about the the sweet looks there. Yeah, yeah. So I know we're running short on time. I do have like a couple quick questions for you. Yeah, sure. First one um is you know, obviously I'm I'm sure there's a bunch of people that are wondering this, and I'm sure you get this a lot, you know, along with the other things that we've been talking about, but what are the best practices or the best ways to get into voice acting? Because I myself, I've, I've voiced in a couple of things, but they're very small roles. Um, so yeah, so I'd love to hear your, your, your thoughts, guidance, or anything that you would be able to give uh, for any aspiring voice actors. Sure. Well, the key is remembering that it's not about doing voices, it's about being an actor, first right. and foremost. And I think a, a great resource is uh, voice actor D. Bradley Baker's website called I want to be a voice actor.com. It's literally that I want to be a voice actor.com. And basically what it covers is, you know, what you need to do, which is get involved, get experience and training where you can acting wise, you know, take it be it. If you're in school, take advantage of your drama programs. If you're not get involved uh, in community theater or something, get you out there. You got to work all the nerves and the, and the butterflies in your stomach. You got to get all that out of your system because you, ha you got to bring your A game. It's a very competitive field. Um, and it's a very supportive community. It's a little bit different than on camera. On camera is very cutthroat and <laughs> walk into a room and there's 50 other people that look like you and it's all about the look, but hey, it's more pure when it's voiceover because it's not about what you look like or how old you are out thin or fat or whatever. You, you just scrape all that off and it's like, what skill do you have? What do you bring to the table? It's like, are you a match for what the director or the cast director, uh, casting director has in mind for the character? And if you aren't, don't take it personal because, you know, you just weren't what they're looking for. It doesn't mean you suck, but you right. can never just rest on your laurels saying, you know, I'm just going to do it because I'm a fan and I just want this. It's like, well, it's great that you want it. You need to take steps to make sure it happens. Uh, when all this, this pandemic craziness is over, I'm not sure if we're going to go back to everyone going back into recording studios and it matters where you live and all not that, you know, usually part of my spiel is save your money as much as you can and pick up and move to where the work is. You know, Texas is a hot spot with Funimation, but I think the West coast LA has so much more to offer in terms of everything, cartoons, games, anime, live action. I mean, it's all over the place. And, um, it, it's, it, you don't want to take shortcuts. It's not going to happen fast, cheap, or overnight or anything like that. Yeah, we have great technology, and it's cheaper than ever to make a good-sounding demo from home. But just because it sounds good and it's produced and everything, does that mean that you're ready to, to go out there? Are you trained? You know, you got to hone your skills and everything. And luckily, you know, you're just a Google away from acting coaches who can teach you over Skype or Zoom and help you work and polish those performances study performances use youtube and everything you're watching and see what sort of uh takes uh what sort of uh choices these actors made why they got cast uh yeah. study commercials it's like that sounds boring it's like no commercials was acting 
yeah. narration is acting audiobooks are acting it's all acting so keep your mind open to it voiceover is voiceover even if you say to yourself oh i just want to be an anime voice actor you're like no 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 you're 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 cutting off a fantastic world of opportunity you're going to grow as a person and you may take all the classes in the world and you still may not get hired you may audition a hundred times and still not get hired but you still would have had fun you still would have learned stuff on the way and you might learn a new uh way that forks off into another path altogether you know so i always encourage people who are interested to give it a go and, and don't just try it once and stop after a week or a month or even a year this stuff takes a long time and it's worth all the blood and sweat and tears you know once you once you book that first gig it feels so good and you feel like all right i had a taste of it now it's almost like addiction i like oh feed me i gotta have my fix <laughs> <laughs> and i mean that in the best possible way you know of course. what i mean of course so yeah that's that's my take go to i want to be a voice and uh read what those articles and blog entries have to say about it which is basically train become an actor uh, be ready to move where the work is, uh, and get your, uh, get your demo done, get that circulated, preferably with people who can walk your demo into somewhere, you know, meet industry people. You're going to have to network even after you have an agent. And even after your name is passed around, you, you still, you just can't, you can't stop. It's always a work in progress. That's a, See, that was a beautiful answer, and that was very yeah. real. I do appreciate that. We we are all about our authenticity here. We we don't pull punches, so that's mm -hmm. definitely something that uh, I, I I definitely appreciate you sharing with us. So thank you for that. And the last thing before before you go, and this is this is gonna be an e well, it might be an easy one, but we'll we'll see what your answer is, right? Um, what are some of your favorite lines that you've ever done? And if, if as a bonus, if you have any real lines that you like doing, go ahead and uh, share that with us as well, if you can. The answer lies in the heart of battle. Hadouken! <laughs> Love saying that stuff. So this is Smash. Oh. Of, course, of course, I love, you know, like, it's morphin' time. Now I gotta add it's morphin' time because, duh. It's not every day that a Street Fighter character gets to say that. Right. Much less become a Power Ranger, right? So, yeah, um, other iconic things like fight you. No, I wanna kill you. Well, I love doing Gohan. I love, of course, the iconic next time on Dragon Ball Z. I get the custom video shout outs all the time on Cameo. People say, narrate my birthday message or, you know, <laughs> do all that. So if you want a custom video shout out, plug Cameo.com slash yes. Kylie there. Yes, please. Send, send me the link. I'll, I'll throw in the chat for you. Um, oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And while, and while, while you do that, I definitely, you said, you said a little bit of narrator piece from Dragon Ball Z. So a really quick thing um, that I wanted to, to let, to share with you was years back at, um, at anime next i don't remember the year but you did a panel mm -hmm. um and you were of course talking about voice acting and whatnot and i was with i always go it's like it's like an annual thing i go with my family it's pretty much like tradition at this point um i guess you can call me weird because usually people go with their friends i literally go with my mom dad <laughs> both brothers sometime my grandma comes it's fun it's cool and that we've been doing this since i was 12 i'm like 27 now mm -hmm. um and you did a panel and my youngest brother, he'll never forget how when you were sampling DBZ narrator, you literally said, and I'm not gonna do the impersonation, but you know, like you said, um, next time will Goku defeat the bacon? And ever since he has, literally, like he'll 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 remembers you for that. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you, just so that you could be like, hey, like. This, this dude's brother remembers me for the Goku bacon line that never existed in any anime, but... And now it does. It's out there. So that's fantastic. That's yeah. great. And, and props to uh, the whole family. It's not just mom and dad going, I don't understand this anime thing, and they drop you off at the con, and it's like, have fun with all your weirdos. And and, and you know, getting, getting parents and siblings all involved and, you know, getting them to try new things and... You know, maybe they'll discover that they like the stuff too. How cool is that? You know, yeah. and, and, and parents or new parents, she, she, you know, bringing up the next generation too. And people naming. I've even met a kid that their parents named Gohan. What? It can happen. There are people in this world named Gohan. Wow. 
That is awesome. Well, I don't want to I don't want to keep you for too long. I know you're you probably you got the NDA shirt on, so you're probably working on another project of, of some kind. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. Yeah, see, I got to I got to keep my mouth shut, but Kai, I just want to thank you. Can't thank you enough, but thank you so much for being on uh Power Rangers Academia with us tonight. And we're 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 being very serious. We will definitely pull up to your streams and if if Enway for some reason does not give you this game we'll, we'll, we'll probably beat them to the punch i'm not even gonna lie we're probably gonna beat them to the punch because it's, it's a very inexpensive game well someone will probably donate yeah, you the funds $20. like <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna get it to happen all right that's fantastic man thank you you got a great community there thanks for thanks for watching the stream or on demand or whatever <laughs> and thanks for this opportunity to celebrate such a cool project yep guys you guys can definitely check out kyle hebert everywhere on Twitter, he has a Twitch. We plugged it early. I'll, pl I'll I'll put it in there again. I just threw his cameo in there. Um, and May 25th, Battle for the Grid is releasing not a season four, but a Street Fighter pack that is including this very man and his beautiful voice that is reprising Ryu for the first time in the grid as a Power Ranger. He said it's morphin' time. And of course, he knows what time it is because he just, he, well, he said it in the game. So, <laughs> yes. So, so Kyle, if there's anything else you'd like to add, please go ahead and uh, whenever you're good to go, you can disconnect from here. And uh, thank you again. I really do appreciate it. We, we all appreciate you being here. My sure. pleasure, guys. And uh, thanks to the fans around the world who make such a cool job as the one I'm blessed to have possible. You know, keep, keep absorbing and consuming and, and doing and all that. And remember a lot of us, uh, on the industry side, really, really do appreciate you guys. You you make it you make it such a, a rewarding thing. We, you know, we're we're hearing stories about how it impacts your life positively, or it helps inspire you. That's the real gravy on top. It's not just making a living doing something you love, but if you can inspire and and, and impact someone's life, that's that's the real that's the real treat. That's where you're rich, not necessarily in dollars, but your soul is just over overwhelmingly wealthy you know what i mean so thank you all around the world you're awesome thank you kyle so much once again take care guys all right we'll see you on the bye grid bye. i'm on the grid mate 25th on the grid. <laughs> it's morphin time <laughs> oh man Ooch. all right hold on i'm just disconnecting just making sure Oh look, his 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 his. At least he left us with a smile, right? Right. <laughs> oh man! All right, there he goes. Okay, so let me let me let me whip up one of our three-way um, panels here. That really just happened, or we just? I yeah, that was not right. with Ryu and Gohan. <laughs> yes, and, like and dog. Like this is. That was a very that was very real. It definitely I, just happened. I touch myself now. That's... I'm actually a fanboy, like Yo, for real, for real. Thank you, Enway, for coming out with this game. I, we, we had Zordon <laughs> on here. Yeah, <laughs> Ryu on here. Shout out to Enway. Yo, Yo, but can we talk about that really quick? How did they not give this man the game? I'm shocked. Yeah, I didn't know. Yo, of... I was ready to hit him. Yo, I was well, not to him. I already right bothered him enough. But you already know who I was over here by the by the message. Like, yo, tell Enway to hook this dude up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, who who knows? Let's let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. They've been so busy keeping hush hush that they just forgot to give out the codes. I mean, yeah. they were here on the stream giving now hella codes for the two year yeah, exactly, anniversary. Yeah. So <laughs> true. That's uh, they gotta give them super edition. That's, oh. Give them super edition. Well, yeah, you would exp imagine. Imagine they they hook this man up with. With, uh, with the base version. So like, oh, you got Magna in there. Yeah. Oh man, but that was, that was that was like, that was amazing. What a guy. Yeah. Plays with guy. his viewers, right? Yeah. Gave us his time. He didn't have to do that. He doesn't have to do that neither. You know, I could this uh, as all the characters that this guy does the voices for. I'm surprised he has time to do this. That says a lot about him. He's done. He really does it for. You know, for us, yeah, that's yeah. rare to find. That's a rare trade to find. People are just like, oh, I'm only for the money. I don't care. No, this guy, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, he's making a living, but having fun with us doing so. Yeah.